when I lost my parents, it was terrible. But that is, you know, you expect them to go before you, but your child is not supposed to do that at age 29. Allen and LaVon Smith raised their son Derek to serve family, country, and the Florida Gators. One year he was in Iraq for 15 months, and instead of Christmas, Thanksgiving, or some other time that you would expect him to come home, he came home for the Florida Georgia game and the party. Derek graduated from University Christian School in Jacksonville in 2002. He made us laugh all the time. Five years later, Derek joined the United States Army. Favorite picture show was Saving Private Ryan. He served in Iraq and earned the rank of sergeant. It was just, as far as listening to the soldiers, he was just a good soldier. Derek was stationed at Fort Belvoir in Virginia as a military police officer. Always, all he wanted was to be a policeman, so we had to buy police cars everywhere we went. He was a well-decorated soldier. He just was never one to brag about himself, uh, never, you know, didn't want to be the center of attention, just, you know, kind of went with the flow. Derek never told his parents too much about his life in the Army. He told me one time, and I don't think he meant to tell me, he says, uh, Dad, you know I'm in the, in the first squad. Do you know what that means? And I said, no. He says, we're the first ones out on the convoy. Alan and LaVon spoke on the phone with their son often, but there's one conversation they will never forget. I, I talked with him just briefly that day, thinking I'll talk to him tomorrow. That was August 19th, 2012. While on duty that night, Derek shot himself in the head. Every day I look up to heaven and say, Derek, why did you do that? You had everything going on. There was just, I can't think of any reason you would do that. Derek didn't leave a note saying why. He bought a set of tires the day before, you know, and well, if you were thinking about planned. committing <laughs> suicide, you wouldn't buy a set of tires for your car. But there was something said during that last phone call to his parents. I asked him if there was anything new, if everything was all right. It was, you know, brief conversation because he called frequently. And he said, no, Mom, everything's great, everything's fine. And I mean, all, all of the soldiers, the, several of them came down here when we had the, the funeral. Nobody had any inclination whatsoever. As a family, how have you all moved on? What have you learned? We have some very good friends whose uh, daughter had committed suicide about five years before. And the night that I learned of that, I called them. And the very first thing they told me, which I won't forget, which I think has helped more than anything, is it's not your fault. You know, because you feel like, what could I have done? Where did I miscue? What did I not do to cause Derek to take his life? And, and my friend said, it's not your fault. Always remember that.